Hi, Lou Agave, Long Island Lou Tequila on Facebook, Instagram, and a website. For looking at my YouTube channel, please subscribe today. We're with Gregory Bonaloda in his restaurant, the Argyle on Long Island. This is a great restaurant for you local folks. you got to get down to Babylon Village. Today, we're going to check out... It's uh, Look at the color. Okay, we can hold it up. We can see. Look at this is the regular reposado, San Brazil. Now today, and then we're lucky enough we got the uh, 15th anniversary. 15th anniversary. It's a little bit darker. A little bit darker. So a blend of two new labels. That's right. Tell, tell us about it. It's Viva like? Mexico. We have the 50 percent Viva Mexico, and I believe 50 percent San Brazil. Correct. And the San Brazil barrels are Missouri oak, which David Searle likes to use. Medium toast, and I believe we're medium toast medium on toast on both barrels. And he's using the Viva Mexico. Oh, medium toast, 50% uh, as well, and those are Kentucky bourbon barrels. So, you know, Viva Mexico is the house brand, right, buddy? That is the house brand, about 1414. Which I've never had, and I've been talking to Sergio Cruz, the MD, who's the master distiller on this project as well. I actually and had it when I was down in uh, La Cana. Lucky yeah, man. I can't find it anywhere around here, and I told them, and they're going to try to get me a bottle. So, what's really cool is in here. It's used in the mix, okay? So it's a blend of the two reposados. Now the price, you can't get this anymore, kind of. It was only 1,020 bottles made for the whole U.S. And my buddy here was just telling me... I only got one. A handful came to New York, right? Literally one handful. So I, I actually ordered it actually ordered it came in. I opened it up. I thought it was unbelievable. We'll talk about it. But I, I ordered it. called up my suppliers to send me, send me some more. They're like, you got the last bottle. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, you know, this was made in honor of Feliciano Vivanco, who was started that whole non 1414 with Vivanco, which is to me the number one contract distillery on earth. Catch Coins right there also. Phenomenal distillery. So this is the 15 year Reposado. 11, 23 or 1414, I'm all about. Yeah, yeah. So this is 1414. Los Altos and the Highlands, single estate agaves are used here. It's a blend. Uh, the price when you could get it was between 60 and 80. I just saw it today on the internet for uh, 150 bucks. I'm telling you, you just can't get them. That's why. So it's 42 uh, ABV, right, buddy? Yep. Maybe right. full proof. Let's show them that label again. And we're going to get into it right now. Me and Gregory. And we're having a good time here. We're full four here, buddy. Yeah, this four is yours. This is not okay. So we're going to check this out um, on Tequila Matchmaker. We're going to give you our rating in a few seconds. Again, you're lucky if you can find it, so do your best. And uh, very limited edition, Reposado, 15-year anniversary edition in honor of Feliciano. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a nice note. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to cheat and tell you I already gave us an 89 on TMM. But so Gregory gave it an 89 on TMM. I'll give you mine in a minute. I just put down some general notes of what I normally pick up on the stuff. I'll pick some of them and I will pick some of the others, but I am getting a little cherry. I get dried fruit. I was going to just say, without a doubt, dried fruit. Like a plum thing almost. Um, light vanilla. A little bit of cinnamon maybe. Or, or not so much cinnamon. Uh, nutmeg maybe. Like, like a nutmeg. Yeah, like a little more gritty in the brown. Definitely get cooked agave on the nose. What you're paying for, nice wood. You want to, what you're paying for is tequila. You want to make sure you can smell the tequila. And after after a 15 year anniversary of two blends, um, again, they're not really listing uh, uh, the age. We're going to assume uh, six, six months minimum, okay? Uh, it's got a pretty pungent nose for that, right? I really, maybe maple, almost There's, like a maple maybe. That, maybe that with the nutmeg. They're medium toast barrels, just a lot darker than a regular uh, San Brazil. So I'm thinking it's could possibly be eight months or longer. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. No that's a good point, yeah. Oh, this, this is really nice. Almost, it's almost like a pine, but I think I'll go with the maple. It's definitely oak wood. You're getting a lot of that. All right, buddy, let's I'm go way ahead of you. I already tasted it. You're already in. Thanks. Got a good mouthfeel. A little light on the palate. I was going to say, almost a little astringent. Kind of evaporates off the tongue kind of quickly, right? But um, you get that nice sweetness. But I'm going to have a long finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get to the finish. I think you're right. I think it is a long finish. It's spicy. You get the whiskey. You get that bourbon. I guess that's coming from the Kentucky bourbon. 
could even be the other one, the Oak from Missouri. It's got good heat. It's got it's good not, heat. It's not overly overpowering. No, it's not. It does have a long finish, you're right. It kind of trickles down and then ends quickly, like it's frigidity. Sort of like when it dries up, that's it. But, but I'm, it, getting, I'm getting good citrus, my mouth's good. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. The taste, besides the spice and maybe a little cinnamon, there, there is some citrus in there. I like it a lot. So on TMM, I'm going to go with an 88. And you went with yours already? 89. And we really like it. We recommend it. If you can find it, go get it. Salud.